okay uh, welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please do make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get more exclusive like quality exclusive let me just call it cool tutorials like this one we're working on right now for free yeah for free but if you want to support me you can always check my youtube channel profile to purchase one of my tutorials or you can also buy me coffee too if you want to so let's get started let's get right back at this so um it's one of interesting parts of the face at least for me or for most people would be the structure of the eye and getting the proper structure of the eye so that's what we're going to be focusing on today, at least for now. Before we move on to something else. <clears throat> so I would like to start with the I think the upper part of the eyebrow should be should be the one for me today. So let's jump right to it. Let me just get a close up view on this, like so. Okay. So let's isolate. <clears throat> isolate this since we already maxed it out. We already created polygons for them actually. So we'll begin to go in and then work a bit more on it. Oh, I like to do, I like to do one thing first though. Something I like to do first. About this. Why? Okay. We need to get kind of get some thickness for the eye. Let's get some thickness for the eye. So I would use the dem standard brush. Now just let's use let's use an eye texture for this. Uh, where's the eye reference? I have my reference cut out all over the place. Okay, yeah, they are. Okay. So you can see like this lip of the eye around here. So it's gonna create something thicker also around those parts. Just to give the eye a bit more volume to it. I think I should have more down. Yeah, this is a close up. You can see how you can see how very thick the eyelid is. So this lip the top parts. You can see how thick that is. So we want to try to create something similar in here so i will start let me zoom this out let me start by creating some depth in here making sure i'm on the lowest subdivision level for this i think my brush size is too big Start by creating some depth in here first. Let me hide this, create some depth also around here. Okay. But that get this facing us. Okay. Make sure the symmetry is turned on. That's good. I should probably go one step. Long subdivision level higher for this. Consider the damn standard brush. I will hold down alt. 
kind of carve out a thickness around this. Uh, I don't think I did that accurately enough. I missed a step around here, so I'm, not I'm going to do that again. Uh, my hands are not accurate, so I need to do this a few times to kind of get it properly. Uh, old old. Yeah. Okay. This should that should that should work. That should work. Maybe accentuate it a bit more. I keep missing this part. All right. <clears throat> so I'll use a very low intensity smooth brush. Smooth this part a bit more, like so. Okay. Should probably do the same thing now for the inner, inner part to so hold out. Um, missing, <clears throat> not doing that correctly. Let me hide this part so I can. It's like double sided is not turned on, so let's turn on double side. Display double side. So you want to make sure you show the same measure of love for the inner part also. All right, I think something thick as this should be should be good. Yes, perfect. Good to have an edge that kind of accentuates that accentuate that part a bit more, just to make it a bit more obvious to see. That's what I've done now. There's something here. Let's dig shape here. Smooth, smooth the edge. Just to get it blended back in to the skin. Okay, so let's do the inner part. I'll be the upper part rather. So holding down out. Uh, missing it. Let's get a good angle like so. Okay. Okay. We can only push this a step forward by using the H H polish brush and just polish this parts just to get something a bit sharp around there or rather get something a bit flat flat edged okay okay it should work it should probably do the same for the lower parts too Okay. Yeah, this we have better edge in there now. Same also with this part of the nose. Use the H polish brush. Kind of gets should probably zoom into this a bit more. To get an edge around, around the uh, somewhat around the uh, like so. Also around the. Uh, it's not going to be too obvious though, but it kind of helps to kind of define the shape a bit more. So just to get a bit more definition to the shape. 
So that when looking at it from this angle, if I increase the subdivision level one more step, you can see an edge to it. More defined edge to it. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. <clears throat> All right, so uh, let's think. I want to do something in here, and I'll just smooth that out. <clears throat> Basically, just trying to add some more texture to that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yes. So back to the eye. Let's go down to lowest subdivision level again. We still add this. So one thing is we need to kind of fix is the expression is most expression to this though i'm going to start by doing it symmetrically then later i'll break this up later later i'll break this up and make it a bit more defined so for now i'll just doing general block out to this so i know certainly that this part this part lap part folds down a bit more Falls down a bit more, so I would. <clears throat> it's almost covering the almost covering the eyelid, so I will max out this part. I uh, missed that. Let me just continue this on here, like so. Blow it out, just blow it out, just one step. Then let's see if we remove brush. I should probably do this now. I should probably mark this out in a higher subdivision level, but let's see. Let's see what we have removed this. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This will work just fine. So let's get this covering. At least the last chunk of this should be covering. So if I kind of pinpoint the shape, it looks more like an S shape to it. So if I should, let me use this instead. If I should block this out, you can see this kind of. I won't say S, maybe not S shape, but some kind of curve to it. It's not. It's not just straight like this. It's not straight. It's not straight. So you notice some. Let's say. Let me map map out the peaks of this here and here and here also. So. I need to try to recreate that. Okay. No. Obviously, need to add some more flesh around this part, though. But I think for now, this should be fine. Let me get this at an angle because this one needs to come down even more. I need to max out this part as well. Blow the max. Get a better angle at it. Yeah, something, something like this should be fine. Yes, now we're getting something similar to the expression in there. Just that we need to <clears throat> make some refinement on this. Okay, so let's make some refinement to this. This part, I need to push it back. So I'm using a clay, bro clay brush. I'll just push this part back a bit more. More or less, like I'm almost like trying to flatten it some more. Yeah, something like that to be fine for now. Then the flesh around you is thicker, so let's go one subdivision level higher. I think I should bring over this 
Это клюзавиние. So, trying to figure out the continuity of this. Maybe not entirely. Let's look for another reference that should help. I think I have one reference in here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go this. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that should be. Let's see if I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what to do in there. It's more like. Let me see if I can. It's more like you have, like. Let me just see if I can mark this out to explain it. It's not like you have one major shape around here. Then after blocking other major shape, then you now have like. Then you have like. Let me separate this. Then you have like another smaller secondary shape around here, like this. So the idea is to kind of work on the major shape, then use my damn standard brush, kind of break that up into another extra piece of secondary shape on it. <clears throat> so let's carry on. So I would make this even slightly deeper. Mm, trying to figure out how this. Okay, okay. No, no, not that. Smooth that down. Can you use the? <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if I can do a continuity to it. A continuity to it. So I'm using the standard brush now. Kind of add some thickness to that part. Increase the standard brush some more. Should probably max out these lower parts. I don't want that to be affected. Let's see if I can max this out some <clears throat> some more. No, let me do that again. I'm not doing that correctly. Mm, maybe this should work. Okay. Blow out the max just once. Okay. Then still on the damn standard brush. You can see how far out this thickens out. So let me first start by using the damn standard brush, kind of see how far that should be. I think somewhere around here should be fine. Dig in a bit more, like so. Then with the standard brush. You want to be careful though. <clears throat> you don't want to go too extreme on this. No, that looks a bit weird. Smooth out. No, no, that looks weird. Let's try the clay build up brush. Even weirder. Okay, I think this should this is it should be better. Smooth that out. Shoot this back a distance. Let's see how thick that is. Should get a good angle on this also. Let's smooth this down. Or better see. Or better still, let me just. I don't want this to be too too wide though. I think this this shape is actually okay. I just need to blend it down. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Can I see how we're supposed to we need to push this down? We need to push this down some more. No.
Yeah, I think I know the perfect brush to use for this. Let me blend this down first. I think the inflate brush should be a better should be a better brush for this. Use the inflate brush. Yes, this is a better one. But you want to be careful though, you don't want to go to do too much. Okay. Let me zoom out a bit more. Try to get a grab of how thick that should be. Okay, something feels a bit off there, which you would need to fix. I think I need to get a better grab of. Look at this from the top view. Okay. Look at this from the side view. Smooth this. Increase the smooth brush. Smooth this down some more. Okay. I think I need a fold, I think I need a thicker fold around here. Yeah, something like this. Yes, something like this should <clears throat> something like this should do the trick. So this is just me using the Inflate brush just to inflate certain parts to make it look a bit more believable. Okay, I think this under part needs needs a bit of work. See, so we can get more depth in here. Okay, I think the part I'm missing, I'm not doing properly, is this part. So I'm smooth that down a bit. Let's see if we can use the inflate brush. Where is the inflate brush? Okay, inflate brush. Like so. Let's get some more depths in here. Like to get some second. Let me look for under reference in here. Probably something that would help. Now it's too aggressive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think you can work with this for now. So let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's see. Uh, at least, at the very least, we're getting the expression in there. We're getting the expression that we need. Let me mark this out again. So, with, with the same, I don't know why this keeps swapping. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. can see some shape in here, some structure in here. I think we should, you can't really, you can, I'm not sure you can see properly in here, but if I, I think this one has its, this secondary shape around here, secondary fold around here. So I'll use the same damn standard brush, but I need to go one subdivision level higher, just one subdivision level higher for this. Then I should probably save this also to be on the safe side. Okay. Um say secondary shape around the air. For now I'm sculpting. Oh no no, no, I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Try and figure out the directionality of it. So you always want to kind of figure out the directionality of it. Very important. But these are just blip, but these are just base block out though. Because when I when I break symmetry, then I can go in there and then work on it a bit more. For, but for now, let's just get some base block out of those shape in there. She used inflate brush also. And just gonna get some measure of thickness or sagginess around it. So you want to be careful though, you don't want to do this on top, you want to do this close to the edge. So it creates that kind of saggy, saggy effect. So at the edge, just at the edge, should get this in some more. So that's for me, for, so from an angle like this, you notice that it looks like it's sagging on the edge. So that's why you need to have the inflates, the inflates actually on the edge. Because it's at least close to the edge. Let's move that out. So use the inflate brush also for this. There's some thickness around here, so let's also keeping in mind at the edge, close to, at least close to the edge. You want to get that close to the edge. So from this angle, it feels like it's sagging down. But I think I need to tighten this part a bit more. So I can use the pinch brush to tighten that edge some more. So tighten that edge some more, something like that. Then back to the inflate brush. Okay. Yeah, some it looks symmetrical for now though. I want to break symmetry in the later on. Okay, it's not supposed to be that symmetrical. But since we're just blocking things in, so that should be fine for now. Then we have this top part. Okay, so <clears throat> Okay, uh, yes, okay, so this with the inflate brush stay active. So I'm trying to add some more thickness to this part. Smooth that down. But it looks weird from this view it looks weird because it's supposed to have let me use the move brush it's supposed to have this spread out like so it's supposed to have this spread out and sagging also but let's see this with the full view on yeah 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 we need to work on that we definitely need to work on that a bit more Let's go to the lower subdivision level. Nah, that's way too low. I think this should be fine.
sync and zoom back out a bit more. Okay. Maybe to get a bit more definition to it, we can can max out this part so we can just work specifically on the part we need to work on. So I want to figure out how the transition is okay. It's not that high. It's not that high. So I think where we kind of stop is a good point. Let me smooth that out again, smooth this out a bit more. Yeah. To them standard bros do give us do give do a better job for us in here. Not really. Not really. Okay, I think it's will if we do this from the side, you know, that's way too much. Okay. I'm basically trying to measure the distance for this kind of eyeballing the distance for it. Let's subdivide this one step. Let's see. And it feels like it should be very, it should be very close to this part. You know, that looks weird. I think I need to push this side. I mean, bar this, blow this out. The move brush, move this closer, move this closer like so. Invert the marks again. Yeah, it's a trick, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one, but I believe we can tackle it. No, okay. Yes, glancing angle like so. Let's see. Let's see how saggy that is. I'm using a clay bead up. I'm using a clay brush now just to get this edge a bit saggy. Kind of fill it up. Okay. Yeah, that feels weird. Yeah, something we can always go back and then uh, modify because it looks very symmetrical for now. And I'm not really ready to break symmetry just yet. If it's not yet. We would <clears throat> we'll definitely come back to that. Take down the subdivision level. With the damn standard brush. You can see a shape around here. plug this shape around here also but you don't go too much to do too much though because you still want to keep this symmetrical for now before breaking symmetry then we can go there individually and then begin to work on the shape I think one thing I'm missing is that if I should think should extend this out some more like so yeah something like that should be fine for now just for now so now I'm kind of getting that expression in there now. And do a quick save. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we can work on. I think for the major part, we have done something good enough in there. Yeah, 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 for the forehead. I think we need some details for the forehead. 
not entirely sure how I should work on this though. Uh, should probably use should probably use this one. Yeah, I should probably use this instead. Though in all carefulness though, do this carefully. Mm. Though the hair is even covering most of those parts, but it's still good to kind of make sure we add something in here. At least at the very least, let's add something in there. Let's add something in there at the very least. Oh yeah, something in here also. I need to smooth this out. I need something a bit slightly deeper, so come to lower subdivision level. Not entirely sure how I should play this out though, but let's try using the standard brush. The standard brush would be a better option, but let's try using the standard brush. Let's see what we have. So holding out, I will just dig in here. No, no, in the better. Yeah, something like this. Something like this. Yeah, let's go one subdivision level higher. Let's see what we have. Mm, no. I think I need to be a bit closer. Like so. I think closer like that should be better. Let's go one subdivision level higher on this. Nah, that doesn't feel right. I think here should be fine. If you notice, I kind of went around here, then skipped a gap. There's a gap in here, then continued on the other side. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Just to break it up a bit more so it doesn't look too symmetrical. Oh, well, actually, symmetrical. Yes. Uh, no, it's like it's, it shouldn't. It won't look too too clean. It shouldn't be too clean. It shouldn't be too clean. So keep that in mind. It shouldn't be too clean. I think the standard brush was fine to kind of do that. Let me check this at an angle. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. That should, that should work. Think, let me save this part. Then next let's we'll continue with adding the details for the brow around here. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.